Hey, how we doing, everybody? <clears throat> Look, um, I get, I know this camera angle is way different. I actually got me a whole different little contraption just for this video. So I know I'm way up close and personal, but I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about this whip finish, y'all. And I want to show y'all up close and personal you know what i mean that way everybody that's having problems with it can uh can get it down so we just started with just a regular uh, regular ball head uh it doesn't have a shank obviously uh it's just, i mean doesn't have the shoulder obviously it's just a straight hook all right so, and I, and I just wrapped some of this pink thread. I figured you'd be able to see it good. I just started wrapping it around there, right? That's, that's just to wrap it, just to show you the thread there, right? So, all right, guys and gals, you see this? This is a whip finisher. They make them small ones, big ones. They make them in all kind of different styles. All right, this here, oh, Lord, I don't remember where I got this. I think Barlow's, yeah, Barlow's Tackle. All right, they're out of Richardson, the Dallas area. You can find them on the interweb at Barlow's Tackle. All right, if they're out of them, you can find this at the Crazy Angler. They're up around Mineola, Texas, somewhere up around Lake Fork. But anyway, they also sell them. <clears throat> you can get on eBay, all right? Just type in um, fly tying whip finisher, all right? And uh, probably a million will pop up. Amazon, eBay, I don't like doing business with those. I like to do business with, you know, local shops or at least here, you know, <clears throat> you know, close to where I'm at. Just that way, you know, every, you know, they're, Spread the money locally is what I'm getting at. So I'm not saying I'm bad about anybody or nothing. But <clears throat> anyway, so look, let's get this show on the road. I'm going to explain this the best way that I know how, y'all. All right. So you're going to pull you out about six inches of thread or so. All right. You, <clears throat> you always want to make sure to have a good bobbin too. That way, you, you know, your, your, th your spool of thread is not loose. You know, it's not doing none of that. I mean, you can see it's obviously hanging. All right? You don't want it too loose, okay? So start with you about six inches out, y'all. Okay? The top hook, you're going to grab it, okay? Then you're going to wrap it around the bottom okay why you're still holding pressure on your on your thread right you're going to get it parallel with the shank of your hook parallel okay see how it forms that v you're going to start wrapping ladies and gentlemen just start wrapping okay bam now you want to feed it thread Okay, as you go, you want to feed it thread. Okay, when you get done, when you get your four or five wraps, whatever you're going to do, push the bottom up, okay? When you push the bottom up, it it's going to pop off of the bottom here, okay? Then you just pull your thread tight, pull it tight, and it comes off, okay? Now, let's try it again. All right. <clears throat> like I say, hold your thread tight. You're supposed to hold your bobbin. You see this little deal right there? That is for your finger. All right. That's what it's designed. That's the way it's designed, y'all. I hold mine just like that. Okay? Now, like I say, with our line tight, we're going to grab that top hook, okay? Wrap it around. Just catch the edge of that bottom. 
it's built with that little groove in it so it will not pop off. You're going to hold it tight the whole time. Look, you can see the whole thing now. It formed that, that V pattern. You're just going to start wrapping, okay? As you're wrapping, feed it. Feed it thread, okay? Push the bottom in. It pops off. See that? Now, pull it tight. Comes off your top, y'all. <clears throat> Literally, that is the best way that I know how to describe that, to show y'all how, how to do that. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to start, we're going to start with a, um, just another, a bare hook, y'all, and we'll see, uh, see what that does. The way we get a, you know, everybody gets a feel of, what I got going on here. I know to a lot of people that's the most intimidating part of jig making, but, but y'all don't let it get to you. I mean, I promise you, if you just take a little time, watch this video several times, uh -huh. <clears throat> I promise you, you will get it. If you're having problems, hey, hit me up. I'll give you my number. We can, uh, you can FaceTime me. I mean, uh, I have no problem with that at all. A million people got my cell phone number. It's on my business cards. You cannot, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to hide my telephone number from anybody at all. So, you can see, there's my business card right there. Uh, I'm going to hold that there for a minute. If anybody's having problems with this and they want to give me a shout, we can FaceTime, whatever they want to do, you can give me a shout, y'all. Look at that. Hope everybody had time to get it. All right. 903-387-2532. <clears throat> it's easy to remember. Okay. Same thing, just a different hook. <clears throat> And pull us about six inches out, y'all. We're going to grab it with that top hook. All right. Then we're going to catch this little notch in the bottom. See, it's made. That little notch in there is made to grab it. While we're holding pressure on it. <clears throat> All right. See, we formed our V. You see that I'm feeding it thread, right? I'm steadily feeding it thread. I get done, push the bottom up, I'm done with that. Pull it to me, comes off. All right, we're going to do it one more time, folks. I know, I promise you, it took me a while to get this down. Now I can do it with my eyes closed. All right, grab the top. All right, here we go. Grab the bottom. <clears throat> now, you want to make sure that you're holding it tight the whole time. If not, that sucker will get away from you. If you're not holding it tight, that is going to be a issue. If you're not feeding it thread with your other hand, that is going to be an issue. Okay, I'm done. All right. Push the bottom in. Look at that. Pop right off. Pull the thread down. Pop right off. Y'all, I hope this video was very informative. I hope it, it helped, you know, a lot of y'all out. And like I say, do not be afraid to give me a shout. Leave If you don't want me to know your number, hey, that's fine. <clears throat> I understand everybody's different. But I have a business. I have a charter business. I build these jigs. I do all kind of stuff. So it doesn't bother me. People have my number, but... Anyway, <clears throat> I had a request that people asked me, you know, to start putting where I get all my materials in the description. Um, guys and guys, I can get my material, like I say, I try to buy local, Barlow's, Crazy Angler. Uh, a lot of times, there, there are also another place, uh, Nimrods, Nimrods Tackle, N-I-M-R-O-D-S. They got a lot of good stuff. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start talking a lot 
you know, in my videos and showing what I'm using um, and where I get it. So we're going to do a video here in a little bit. This right here is just Flashaboo, y'all. Uh, they make Flashaboo in many different styles. This here is like twisted, like braided, y'all. This here is just flat. So I like to use this quite a bit. I don't know if y'all have actually seen me use it, but I'm going to use it. <clears throat> another thing, another thing, make sure, guys and gals, quality, quality, quality. You can get on eBay something. I, I bought something just to prove a point, all right? This is Flashaboo. This come off of Amazon. Yeah, come off of Amazon, all right? You can get like 12 packs for $15. I don't remember, all right? I bought this to prove a point. Look at that, y'all. Oh, it's pretty. It's flashy. Literally, it's pretty and flashy. You see that? Look. Pretty, pretty, pretty and flashy. I hate wasting material. But look, guys and gals, there's a big difference. You see that, that stretching? Yeah, it'll break. But look, I'm. you can probably hear me popping that. That's how hard I'm pulling. All right? So quality makes a big difference. And if you're making jigs, y'all, you don't want it to come apart. You know, you want to have a good quality jig. So like Flashaboo, this is Magnum. I use, sometimes we use a bigger size. It's 130 seconds. This is a Magnum. They make many different sizes, all right? Y'all know I'm a big, big uh, believer in Flash. So I use a lot of the Magnum, y'all. I like the flash. I know the fish like the flash, so that's the reason I use it. But look, I appreciate each and every one of y'all watching. I hope you learned that we're finished. If you do not, hey, look, guys, leave me a comment, and uh, I promise you we'll get it. We'll get it together, y'all. Hey, look, God bless each and every one of y'all, and we will see y'all next time.